please welcome your host, Mr. Alex Sane. This is about you having your say on the winners, the losers, who you've liked, what you hate. Clooney desperately wanted a seat in here. I was like, no. Are you on orange? He's not, as it turns out. We have a, a guest there for the start of this show. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the presenter of Film 2012, the gorgeous Gordia Winkleman. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Claudia, let me ask you, uh, who are your big uh, favourites tonight? Any predictions for us this early in the game? I'm not allowed to predict because I always officially get it wrong. <laughs> uh, but I'd like it to be uh, the artist. And I love, I'd like Drive to win everything it's up for. Down here, sir, a very dapper gentleman. Tell us about the fantastic year in film you've experienced. Uh, Beginners was my favourite film of the year by far. I thought it was amazing. Beginners, okay, so Christopher Plummer. So I'm gonna be honest with you, Beginners, I, I found a really difficult film to get yeah. into. Yeah, it was really slow, but I think his performance was amazing. My favorite film of the year probably was actually Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, because there's some fabulous wallpaper in that film. <laughs> they really yeah. brought back the 70s. I wanted to say actually, you know, and she hasn't had any, any recognition at all, but Kathy Burke was incredible in that film. Just yes. a tiny part, but she really, really shone. Mm -hmm. It's an intelligent film that requires you to have active participation. I think the other, the other great thing with Tinker Tailor is it, it makes you quite grateful for living in modern Britain mm -hmm. as opposed to kind of super grimy, brown, kind of fog brown. Not just the wallpaper, Britain. yeah. Not the wallpaper apart. You know, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up. Mr. Adam Deacon! Woo! Congratulations. How are you feeling right now? It's, it's surreal. It really is. Without sounding corny about it, it really is a bit of a dream come true in a sense. Oh, Senna's picked up an award for video editing. Senna, as I say, I love, I, I don't just, dis, uh, not just have no interest in F1, I actively dislike it and find that anyone that has a real interest in it to be a bit of a jerk. But I just loved it. It was incredible. It's, it's, it might as well have been scripted from start to finish in terms of like the kind of the strength of the story oh. and the progression of the characters. It's amazing.